such a pretty car. I love the, the colors, the orange. Now, um, like I said, Chicago Land RC. Yeah, also that thing went sky high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I landed. There you go. I got a little family of deer over there. And Penny's crying. She's gonna have babies pretty soon. She ended up getting pregnant. You guys see the deer? There's a little small one in there. <clears throat> anyway, this is the Jambo. Make sure this is recording. Yep, it sure is recording. Sweet. Now I hope I put this back on straight on my head. It's not crooked. Well, seems good. What's up, guys? This is the Jambo. Now this is Team Corrales stunt truck. This one and the Dementor. It's a short wheelbase, um, eight scale with the long arms and the big monster truck wheels and tires. Now these arms also accept the um, graphite inserts as you can see here. You can put them on the bottom or the top, but I believe. Anyway, there's been plenty of unboxings of this. It's a great looking rig. This is the V2. It's got the stock um, steering blocks on it still. I've done nothing to this. I do have the HD steering blocks, but I have not put them on yet. This is gonna be a stock out the box run on the V2 Jambo. It's got the really nice wheelie bar. Of course, the Corrales systems are ridiculous. We know that, <clears throat> but um, yeah, let's get this thing turned on. Front 4S. That's one of those, what is it, SIGP LiPos, 4S LiPos, 70C. I think that's what they're called, SIGP. Something like that. I can already tell this thing. This is nuts. I I have to think that these tires are almost like too big. They're almost too big. I think these are gonna end up going on my um Kronos. And I'm gonna get something that's a little bit smaller for these. Not too much smaller, but maybe some backflip LPs. Cause these are massive. Look at this thing. Look how wide it is. <laughs> anyway, this is 4S. Bone stock, 100%. Oh, they're still looking at me over there. You guys can see them. See some backflips. <laughs> they ran when they heard that. Holy sh Nikes. That was, I didn't want that to happen. That's, this is 4S guys. This is 4S and it went right over. It's gonna do standing backflips on 6S. Hope I didn't already scuff up the body. Oh my goodness, I did not think that was gonna happen. Wing all dirty, scuff the body. Jeez, that was like a eighth of a throttle on 4S. These Ferrari systems guys, they're so good. See my little gas saver over there? 35 miles to the gallon, Ford Escort. Bought it like a month ago. Gas up here is $6. $6.50 in my town.
Jeez, anything half throttle, it's just, it's crazy. Wow, this thing flies probably farther than any other RC I've had so far. On my little, I'm barely giving any gas. And it's just flying. I got this from, see that, look at that. I got this from Chicago Land RC. Check out his, uh, turn the deal rates up. Just a little bit. Chicago Land RC. He's got an eBay store. I'll put a link. He's got a online store. He's selling the Corrali V2 stuff for under 500 bucks already on sale. Free shipping. And then also you get a 10% coupon code. I'll put the code in the description as well. Oh my gosh. This thing is like way overpowered, even on forest. I'm not giving it much gas. That's half throttle and it just flops right over on itself. It might do standing back flips on forest. It's the right gearing. Jeebenies. Oh man. That didn't even sound good. It was right on that wheelie ball. Oh man, the chassis are already bent. The pillow balls are already popped. Explain. This thing is nuts. I don't even think you could run this on 6S. I mean, you could just do standing backflips and stuff like that all day. Oh, that was bad. These gophers are gonna break my RCs. They got one there and one there. <clears throat> yeah, well. Now that I got time this spring, I found their den. Where like all their little, all their little um, tunnels meet up at. And so, we're gonna gas them. We gonna gas them. This is just too many. You know, it, these come with that yellow foam. So I, I'm using it on the crash, the crash tower. I did the same thing with my um, Kronos. I'll show you guys after the run. But yeah, this is like a 4S, it's like eighth of a throttle. And that's all you need. Anytime I give it half a throttle, it'll, it'll, that's an eighth. That's a blip with an eighth of a blip, watch. You see my hand, guys? Okay. Watch. See if you see my hand. That's hard to see. There it goes. That's about, mm, that's a quarter. That was about 75. And we're rolling already, so. This is for us. Ooh, curved my rim. This is definitely the most insane 4S machine I have right now. I haven't even programmed anything. No punch, no endpoint adjustments, no throttle calibration, nothing. Just a brand new 4S.
Oh, pillow balls. The pillow ball pop out on the very first jump. I would hate for a person to have this as their first car and the pillow balls are constantly popping out. Well, number one, who's gonna buy something like this or an XTR, especially an XTR roller as their first car? Who? Who is? You've gotta install full electronics in the XTR. If it's your very first car, you know nothing about RC, you're gonna buy XTR. The only reason why I made this video is to save people. Yeah, right. Just a hater. This thing's badass. I'm not even gonna change the steering blocks out until it's time. Oh! Whoops. That's jagged too. Let's see what it did. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was a good one, guys. Look at that. That's a jagged. <laughs> oh, something happened. <laughs> Such a pretty car. I love the, the colors, the orange. Now, um, like I said, Chicago Land RC. Yowza, that thing went sky high. Um, Chicago Land RZ. Get these for a great, great price, guys. I believe it's $479 or $489. And uh, free shipping. And then also a coupon code on top of that, which I believe is. Maybe 10% or 5 or 10% off? I'm gonna adjust the suspension, the droop screws, all that kind of stuff. This thing is just a complete animal out of the box. Oh my gosh. I had to uh, hit the brakes on that one. I was too worried. It probably would have landed. It would have landed, but it would have landed probably like right here, right here, guys. Um, it hit the brakes and it landed like right around here, hard. <laughs> what we got going on? Oh, you get in there. I gotta check the footage. I think it landed right on its lid, or was it here? Yeah, these are starting to, shock towers are starting to make marks in that. That thing, this thing just flies. I wasn't even going that fast. It went pretty, pretty far. Maybe with this GoPro, you guys can actually tell how far these are actually jumping. Couple more, it's starting to get dark. Daylight savings time. Gotta love it, it's like uh, six o'clock. 
It'd be pitch already out here. Check the turning radius on this thing. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Reinforce this body with some with some tape before you drive it. Let's hit a little backflip real quick and then we'll call it a day. Oh. I'm supposed to hit the brakes on that one. Over rotated. It's all broken. It's like you again. Thought to carry you, fella. Oh, the battery went forward a little bit, maybe. Get in there. No heat sink, nothing on the motor. It's a little warm. Not hot, hot, but warm. I mean, it's gotta be expected with a... Tires is big. Uh-oh. Something's making noise. The drive shaft is bent. See that, guys? 